Hello again, Mr. Sunshine, Old Man Sunshine here again. Uh, I s had some nice comments on my last video. Uh, I was, you know, not sure if uh, it was going to be well received, but it was at least, you know, some people liked it, so that's good. So I'm here doing another one. Sorry for the absence, I've been moving into a new house, and yeah, by myself, that's difficult. Anyway, so uh, this is going to be a, a kind of a bridge between... Uh, you're starting tutorial and actually building a ship. See, for building a ship, you need everything, all the all the materials you can get. So, in other words, uh, oh, <laughs> I heard uh, you need one of all of these things, and um, I don't have an exhaustive list off the top of my head. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up and put it in the description for this thing this video. So that'll be nice. I'm also using a full size uh, recording which means it's about three and a half gigs per minute ouch okay so i started off with a fresh slate uh, as a matter of fact i need to turn this on and get some stuff back follow my own rules here get my uh, oxygen tank and turn this off again i was not fortunate to have uranium but that's okay because that uh, helps to prove my point where you need to go to other asteroids to get uh, the materials you're looking for. First thing, go around your own asteroids, see what you can find, and make sure you cover everything. For example, I got lucky on this one. I got gold, iron, ice. I also have some nickel up here. So that's a good start. Uh, there's also uranium, of course. There's silicon, um, magnesium, cobalt. Uh, I think uh, there's silver as well. You need all of them to have a ship with thrusters and a nuclear reactor, for sure. So, let's just go ahead and uh, set out. Uh, you know, just got nothing. I'm just going straight towards an asteroid, and yes, uh, and once you get to maximum speed, you hit X. Is it X? No, it's not X. It's uh, Z to turn off your dampeners, which means you will now fly at the same speed you were at, but you can move around now. And there's the marker that's going to make sure I don't get lost like that first time I tried this. <clears throat> and we don't have any waypoints here, so we don't know how close that is. But generally speaking, you can kind of tell when it's close enough. And by the time you think it's starting to get too close, which is going to be in a moment. Hang on, space is big. Okay, I'm going to hit Z again to turn initial dampers off. The speed on the left side is going down, but I'm bringing it back up just so I can get to this thing. That wouldn't be uranium up there, would it? Oh, oh, dropping a couple frames here. Hang on. That is uranium, isn't it? It is! That was easy. Turned on my light with L. Uh, and I'm going to do the trick where you come in from the side. That way... Um, errant uh, pieces of rock just don't go flying into space. They'll stay, you know, at least somewhat in this tunnel here. Uh, I have autosave turned on. You may have just seen the message. Anyway, uh, right-click again. Uh, drills a hole with no remnants. You know, it's like if you want a hole in a hurry. It's trying to get a... Oh, goodness. I'm already in the uranium. That's a lot of uranium. Dang. At least I think it is. It's a little hard to tell, to be honest. It looks like it. So let's go ahead and go with that. Uh, left click to get the pieces. And yeah, that's uranium ore. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can dig a little bit further in so that pieces that fly off don't go too far. Holding down F again to uh, pick up as I go. Now, depending on what level of drill you have, there's, uh, I believe, three levels. Uh, it gives you a different amount of pieces that come off. Level 1 drill, only one piece comes off. Level 2, two pieces. Level 3, three pieces. Wait, what? Did I get turned around again? Okay, I'm more or less heading in the right direction. Although, this is interesting. Wait, is that me? What is it, V-E-S? No, I'm yellow. What's the red coming from? I drill? Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's really easy to get lost around here. I just end up flying around until I find out where the heck I am. Okay, so let's go this way. We. I'm going to try not to bore you too much with this part. 
I mean, the main point is getting to other asteroids to get all the materials you need. Actually, I did forget one important step. Uh, let's say we just got to this asteroid and I just came in going, hmm, is that uranium? And then, oh my, yes it is uranium. Once the, uh, there. So now you go, uh, to your inventory screen with I, click on GPS, new from current position, click on that, rename it to whatever you want to tell you what element is there. I like using just the periodic table abbreviation U for uranium. I think I have that right. <laughs> So now, if I ever wanted more uranium, I would simply find the U and go straight for it. Uh, how much do I have? E. I may as well get some more. I'll go crazy here. Whee! That very loud drilling sound. Uh, later on, uh, you'll have a ship with drill bits, and they feed directly into storage units so that you can just you know, use your ship to drill. It drills a lot faster, and you don't have to go and find the freaking rocks. Uh, and this is so slow because I'm starting out with a level 1 drill. Uh, if you have the materials, you should upgrade your tools. Uh, and you do that uh, simply using the assembler. I'll show you that once I get back to uh, home base here. Uh, uh, get out. Uh. Go away. There. Okay. Much better. Wait, did I? I didn't. Wait. Okay, that's... Okay, maybe I mistook the sunlight for that, the whiter uh, rock, because I drilled right into that when I shouldn't have. I mean, it's a waste of material. Huh, okay. Uh, while, we're he <coughs> while we're here, let's take a look around. Uh, see what else we got. And keep in mind, this, this game is still a work in progress, so... I'm not sure what changes have been going on. I'm a lazy kind of person. I don't pay attention to these things. However, that's pretty good. That's magnesium, I think. Or is it silver? Silver! Ooh, that's good. Okay, uh, let's update our tag so that we have silver as well. You og. And let's go ahead and grab some while we're here. Silver and gold are fairly hard to find and... I think they tend to be rare. Doo, doo, doo. I admit that I am not a good what's the word? Uh, uh, authority for uh, all the nitty gritty bits of this game. Uh, I merely did this just so people who were playing could get into it rather quickly and figure out what's going on rather quickly, which I'm hoping this is helping with. And I lost my bearings. Okay, that's a piece. Of, well, I need stone anyway at some point. I'm going to use this save uh, for the ship uh, tutorial, which since uh, there has been some requests for it, I'll go ahead and do that. At least I'll try to. Remember, I'm going to have to try to move into a house and get all that sorted. I mean, owning a house is great, but if you're by yourself, it's it's a handful. <laughs> Unless you're a more industrious person than me, which uh, quite a few people may be. Okay, that's enough of that. Get me out of here. Oh, isn't that cute? You see some amusing uh, formations sometimes. And it's it's interesting since all this stuff is procedurally... I'm pretty sure this is procedurally uh, generated. So in other words, you're looking at a math equation. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. You'd be in a world that's procedurally generated. Hey, I'm standing on a math equation. Someone solved for X and here I am. Okay, this this is a kind of a weird asteroid, or at least weird as far as my experience goes. That's iron right there, yeah. I never mark iron because pretty much every asteroid has it. Same with ice, about the same thing. Every other element, however, I mark. Unless I've seen like a ton of it, then there's no point. I'm wondering if I set the settings a little too high for my machine, but that doesn't seem likely. 
I've managed to add enough money to sink into some upgrades from my machine. I don't. I think I'm running a GeForce 980. I'm not 100% sure on that. Again, I'm not very good with my details. Whoop. Okay, nope. That's the silver we were looking at. I'm trying to see if there's anything else before I leave. Whoa, I saw it. I saw it. There was a cavern there. And again, since my volume is 30,000, uh, maneuvering is not very easy. And I think I see... Is that... No. Okay. So I got a little cavern here. Sometimes they're really hard to find. But no, there's nothing of interest. Okay. Let's head back to base. Where's home? Home. From only five kilometers away. That was a lucky find. We and wait till it hits. You can technically hit the initial dampeners off, you know, at any time, but any change you make in velocity, i.e. if you turn in any direction well once you bring the iner inertia dampeners back on, they'll slow you back down to zero in all directions, so that's fine. What? Okay, bring it back on so I can correct my course, which I was apparently off on. Now, since I'm laden with rocks, I want to be a little careful coming in because if I come in too hot, splat. Okay, it's turning around. I don't want to go this way. Use my space bar to rotate around. Okay. We got all that settled. Let's go ahead. Put this in here. Uranium first. Uh, silver second. Stone third. And turn on the juice. Whoops. Okay. Turn on, turn off the jetpack because we have a gravity generator. Bring this back up to speed. I should probably warn you before I do stuff like that because of the sounds it makes. One optional thing you can do, uh, refinery is doing its thing, assemblers is doing its thing. Some of the materials you start off with on Lone Asteroid may enable you to actually make a module to stick on there. So let's go ahead and do this. It's a control station, as you can see, it's on the uh, left right side it's uh, depleting all the stuff that's in there and I could even uh, uh, what's the word disassemble some of the stuff so I can get the raw materials out and build other things which is probably what we'll need to do at some point do one more and then I'll go back and see what I can do Two things you want right off the bat as far as modules go for the uh, for the refinery you want effectiveness which is how much it pulls out of the ore and assembler you want uh, productivity which means it produces things more quickly so let's go ahead and start with the assembler uh, hitting G again to uh, get to the uh, toolbar uh, let's go ahead and click on oh, goodness control 2 for the second toolbar and let's get uh, modules. So I'll go up to search and do module. Oop. Okay. So we have productivity. That is for our assembler. Uh, effectiveness. That's for the uh, uh, refinery. <laughs> I keep forgetting things. Power efficiency. That helps in situations where you want to conserve your power. But in this case, I'm not going to worry about it. So let's get the productivity module. Yes, yes. Okay, and rotate it uh, using page down. This happens to be the correct one. Okay, so I got the main parts in. Okay, now let's do control one to get back to the first toolbar. Hit four for the welder, and okay, I'm missing some steel tubes, it looks like. Two large and 20 small. Two large? Is it? Yeah, okay. So what do I have? Oh, I got plenty of stuff. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to move uh, 50 over. I don't know if this is actually going to give me stuff that I need. That may. Do 100 of that. Uh, actually, this actually no, I take it back. This till is what we need, so. Uh, okay, so now go to production. 
assembling. Okay, the fonts may be a little messed up. I changed... Uh, did I? Oh, it looks it looks a little messed up, but anyway. Disassemble. Repeat. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I get a bunch of iron ignits for my trouble. And that will help us build these, because they require iron ignits. Or, uh, sorry, large steel tube and small steel tube. Yep. Wait for it. I may have gone over some of this in the previous video, but... Oh well. Uh, oh, I don't know what, how much time I've been using on this. Oh well. I'll find out later. Okay, so back to it. Okay, turn off repeat. That's kind of a thing that you need to keep in mind, is if you turn on the repeat, turn it off as well. Back to assembly. I want two large steel tubes, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, I think. Nineteen. Got it. Dink, dink, and load it. Alright, now it will produce things at a much faster rate. Speaking of, take this wonderful uranium, plunk it in here, and now we're cooking. Alright, so that's the basics of going to an asteroid, uh, getting some stuff from it, and then bring it back home. There it is, uranium and silver. And then you just start picking other asteroids like that one, that one, that one, that one. And again, uh, you use your jetpack with X. You can start going toward the asteroid. Once you get to max speed, which is usually 100 meters a second or 107 in, in the case of your spacesuit, uh, you hit Z to turn off inertial adapters. Then you don't have to press the uh, jetpack anymore. That's what I forgot to say earlier. Might need to redo that. So, and then once you get near the thing, actually I'm going to do a course correction, go over here. Because it looked like that one was closer. And then you just wait till you get there, hit Z to turn on the dampeners again, and there you go. I'll just stop it here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, uh, some homework for anyone watching, is you go and get all the materials, all the, uh, sorry, all the raw materials, all the elements you can. Uh, get as much of them as you can. Just don't even uh, worry about um, overdoing it. But the only thing I can think of is having a, what do you call it, um, storage container. That might be something you would need. So let me jump back real quick. Pardon me. Had some Taco Bell. Lovely. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Fortunately, I'm light, so I can go in a lot closer without having to worry about crashing. Okie doke. Oh, the shadows are long. <laughs> Turn off the jetpack. Okay, I'm going to make a storage container here. And I'm going to put it back here, mainly because I want it to connect with the assembly refinery. I'm not going to get fancy with this. Control 2 for the other toolbar. Let's add some flooring, as it were. Light armor block, right click, and then actually turn on my jetpack so I can place these here. Uh, that's good enough for now. I don't technically have to have to weld them into place. So, uh, and then we uh, there's a com uh, conveyor and cargo blocks. Small cargo container. Uh, right click. Three. And for purposes of the space station, it has actually quite a bit of um, capacity. Let me actually, <laughs> I may not, <laughs> I may not have the uh, necessary materials to build it. Ouch! That's a lot of stuff I'm missing. <clears throat> but that should be at least uh, make yourself a cargo container if you run out of room in here. Although that's 75,000 liters worth of room is probably not going to run out. You're more likely to run out in the assembler, which is 10,000 worth, so we need to store, uh, for example, these kinds of things. Uh, you know, bulletproof glass, steel plates, that kind of thing. So, But your main goal is to get a bunch of elements, get them refined, so that we can make stuff to make a ship. So, And that's where I'll go ahead and do it next time. I will go ahead and save the game. Yes, and exit to main menu.
no, I already saved it. Go away. So anyway, um, I'll try and get this up as soon as I can. Uh, sorry for the long absence. Uh, I did see your comments, and I thank you for them. Uh, feel free to comment on this, and uh, I'll try and do the ship one as soon as I can. I appreciate the uh, comments again. <laughs> uh, see you later. Bye-bye.